welcome for our annual uh, event at The Taste. We're here at the Burlington Marriott um, at the event hosted by the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce. And we're about to go inside, try some samplings from the restaurants in and around Burlington. And it's going to be a great time. I'm excited. How about you? I'm very excited. To start the show, we're going to take you into the VIP lounge and talk with some people that are integral in making this event happen. We've got many sponsors in there. And this is a really a great night for the community to come together in something that we all love, food. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to get in there and try some stuff out. Yep, me too. So come on with us. Are you excited for the event tonight? We're super excited. We have a great, great turnout, another great event. Um, you know, we have 25 plus local restaurants that have uh, put out a great show for all of us, and we're super excited to be hosting again this year with the Chamber. You know, it, it's just another great event for the community of, of Burlington and the surrounding areas to be part of, you know, uh, just to experience great restaurants. I mean, the Chamber's been great, all the local restaurants. At, you know, we're very fortunate at the Burlington Marriott Hotel and to be able to have the, the size of the capacity to host it. I think, you know, as, as the years have gone on, the the actual event has grown in size, so we're the perfect venue to hold it. I mean, it's in our grand ballroom. I think it's central for everyone. We have a huge parking lot, so again, it's I think it's just a win-win for everyone to, to have it here. One of the great things about this is these are our members, and we're trying to connect them with their ideal audience. But we always tell people, you have a choice when you spend your money. There are all types of restaurants here from the whole span, and we, we like to make sure that when you go out and spend your money, that the money stays in the community. These are very hardworking people. They're giving their time and money tonight. We were just setting up and one of the restaurants said to me, do you remember the years when we were begging people to come and when there weren't really enough restaurants in the area? And that's completely different now. In fact, there's a waiting list to get in here. We can only fit so many restaurants in here. But that's one of the benefits of being a member of the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce. I think people are under the misconception that the chamber is not a nonprofit, but the chamber itself is a nonprofit. And the only way we continue to service the residents and service our chamber members, which are the businesses that do business here in town, and what's beautiful about it is it helps us raise some funds for the Chamber of Commerce. But in addition to that, it showcases our restaurant members, which is out of this world because they're, it gives them that opportunity to show the community what they have. In fact, there's a waiting list to get in here. We can only fit so many restaurants in here, but that's one of the benefits of being a member of the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce. We're working behind the scenes, trying to find staffing and, and transportation for the restaurants. It's an industry right now with record low unemployment that's really hard to staff all of these restaurants, so we work very hard for our members, very hard for the restaurants. Really, in the last few weeks, as we started a shuttle that's bringing workers in from Lowell, from an area where there are available workers coming out of their schools and other programs to work in our restaurants. You know, there are hundreds of job openings right now in Burlington restaurants. These buses are rolling seven days a week, seven times a day. They're here. It's a great opportunity. The Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce was instrumental in getting this done. I'm here with tonight's VIP sponsor, The Reserve, and can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with the Chamber? Sure. So my name is Jessica Plord. I'm the property manager for The Reserve. Um, I've been a property manager for about 17 years, and in our history, we always try to make it a point to be a part of whatever Chamber of Commerce is available in the communities where we have apartment communities because they are such a great help to us. They really get our name out in the community, and they frankly help us fill apartments. Can you tell me a little bit about your facility? Yeah, so we're um, a large uh, company that sells wine, liquor and spirits, and more. Uh, accessories, glassware, things like that. And we really you know, pride ourselves on having outstanding prices, an incredible assortment. We have over 8,000 wines, over 3,000 spirits, over 3,000 different types of beer. And, uh, and quite frankly, some of the best staff out there that has incredible knowledge that can help you plan a party, plan just your event for an evening of you and your spouse or significant other, or even a wedding. We do that as well. Excellent. Speaking of knowledge, I was speaking with one of your associates and they said that you offer classes. Is this true? Well, yeah, we do. So, you know, everybody really wants, loves to taste new things and try new things. So we offer different classes um, throughout the year. We do, on average, about one a week, if not two a week. And we'll do everything from a tour of Bordeaux, France, a tour of Italy, uh, we'll do Cabernets, we'll do, we just did, we called it the, um, uh, the Challenge of Burlington, where we blind tasted a number of different uh, wines to pick the best ones that people thought you know, they were tasting uh, to have a champion. And we brought some of those with us tonight for the 
proud to try out. We're serving a uh, prime Cedar Hill Farm sirloin on a crostini with a horseradish a gorgonzola sauce and some ch chutney tomato and all microgreens. Very nice. And you guys are located right in the hotel? Right in the hotel, yeah. And how do you feel, you know, working in the hotel? You see a lot of traffic, a lot of different types of people. They all come in, enjoy the food, it chops. Little city in the hotel. You get the banquet, you have the concierge lounge upstairs, you have the restaurant. There's always something going on. What keeps you coming back to the Burlington Well, days? one of the things is, you know, with the Capitol Grove, we love being part of the Burlington community. We love being a part of the Burlington Chamber. You know, they're always there for us, and it's just one of the best communities I've ever worked with. And we, we love doing this event. This is one of the best events of the year. The Taste of Burlington doesn't get much better. I'm smelling some delicious uh, aromas behind me. Can you tell me about what you're serving tonight? Well, Chef Tommy and Chef Oscar tonight are preparing two different things we decided. First is we're doing our staple, the tenderloin mini filet mignon sandwiches. We're doing that with a little boars and cheese and some uh, sauteed mushrooms on top. And the other is the world famous, that's right, world famous lobster macaroni and cheese. Uh, which is probably the best side dish I've ever had. That's a large claim being in the, uh, the Massachusetts area. And, and it's low fat. No, it's not. I'm just <laughs> uh, we do a lot of things. You know, the Taste of Burlington, one of our favorite is the Relay for Life. This year is the first time we did an adopter class, so 2032. Uh, we have a class that we'll be doing uh, for the next uh, 18 years, which we're looking forward to. And then I know we started to have meetings about what we're going to do, and I think the first thing is going to be a nice brunch that we're going to do at my restaurant uh, for the whole class. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it, and it's just a great, great community to be a part of. And Amy, can you tell us a little bit about what you have here? Absolutely. We are serving one of our signature items tonight, which is polenta fries with a truffle aioli and a little bit of grated parmesan. We serve that at the restaurant on some of our steak dishes, and we also serve it in the form of a little miniature cow as well. So that's a lot of fun. Here we're just serving the fries, though. Oh, that's <laughs> great. I didn't know that. We ordered it as an appetizer as well at the restaurant, but it's a fan favorite, so we're really excited to share that tonight. And we also have a few different varieties of cupcakes. We've got pumpkin cupcake with uh, cream cheese frosting, chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting, and then we've got a pumpkin uh, gluten-free, oh, excuse me, gluten-free vanilla with uh, coconut buttercream. So, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, Very so, nice. <laughs> so how, what year is this for you? Uh, probably our sixth. So yeah, so this would be our fifth year. So tonight we have a Mediterranean chicken risotto. Uh, everything's made from scratch. We make the risotto in the restaurant on a daily basis. Uh, we actually make it with vegetable stock, so it is gluten um, vegetarian uh, as well if you want to get it without chicken. Yeah, so we're very allergy conscious with our menu uh, being from scratch. We're very uh, um, gluten-free is one of our big things that we do. Uh, and we also can make any modifications to anything on our menu, just in case anybody has like a dairy restriction or an egg restriction, things like that. So very, you know, very detail oriented when it comes to allergies and things. So I am doing a gorgonzola stuffed buffalo chicken meatball with a carrot and celery slaw. We have a restaurant that's open for breakfast and dinner, and we also have 4,000 square feet of meeting space, so we also do full catering. So Angie's team is as well adept at both uh, larger parties in the restaurant and then also events up to 250 people. Different, different clients, different people need different things, uh, both for the restaurant and for a banquet. So it, it's very thrilling and exciting and challenging and, and all of it we just love, which is why we're, we've been here so long. Okay, I'm here with the fun and friendly toast. It's really just called the friendly toast, but I'm here with... Jacob. And Jacob, um, can you tell me a little bit about the Friendly Toast? Sure, the Friendly Toast, it's a fun diner kind of an atmosphere restaurant. And we really thrive on serving, you know, comfort food, sweet stuff, good pancakes, French toast, waffles, things like that. Is there anything that you do within the community that kind of makes you stand out? Sure, so we do uh, friendly fundraisers where uh, if you speak to, you know, any manager in the restaurant while you're dining and you want us to donate to a certain charity of your choosing, we will donate a certain percentage of all of the sales from our dinner on, uh, on a given night to the uh, given fundraiser that you select. Can you tell me what you have here tonight to offer everybody? Sure. So right now we have our, what I would consider the most popular dish in, that we sell. It's the chicken and waffles. It's a bed of sweet potato mash. And then on top of that, we put our fried chicken bacon and we sprinkle that with our in-house zesty maple sour cream and hot honey sauce. It looks delicious. I know when my friends and I go there we look forward to having breakfast or lunch but you also have a full bar, is that right? That's correct. I'm actually the bar manager. So. <laughs> <laughs>
can you tell us your position at the restaurant? Yes, I am a waitress at the restaurant and I also bartend and hostess. And can you tell us a little bit about what you're serving tonight? Yes, so we have a beet arugula salad with goat cheese and then we also have a ham and cheese tortellini alfredo. Very nice, and have you been to the taste before? No, this is my first time. Okay, um, the restaurant's been here before. Yes. The restaurant's about four years old. Okay, and you guys are located? 19 3rd Ave. Okay, and how, how is it over there? How's the vibe over there? It's doing great. How long have you been a part of the Burlington Taste? So I've been here for about five years, and I've done it every single year that I've been here. And it's a great turnout every single year. It's a great opportunity to showcase our food, specials that we might have going on this time of year. And it resonates really well with the, uh, with the Burlington area, and I'm sure there's plenty of people coming from outside the Burlington area as well. Can you tell us about what you have here tonight? Yeah, tonight we have our pumpkin mini, which makes sense to be the seasonal mini for this time of year. It's got a ginger snap cookie on top, there's pumpkin, pumpkin mousse and pumpkin cake. We have our chocolate s'mores, which I will say is our number one seller, right? It's got chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, and chocolate sauce. And then finally, we have our pecan mini, which is one of my personal favorites. It is very rich, but also another favorite for our guests. Vanilla mousse, pecan pie, and whipped cream. Can you tell us about the steak over here? So right now, we're, we're featuring our short rib. Uh, it's, a, it's a new addition for our fall menu, okay? So it's Korean short rib. It's a sesame ginger marinated short rib, uh, sesame seeds sprinkled on top. We grill it, we get it to like a medium rare, and then it's finished off with a little bit of lime, sriracha to dip in, and then micro cilantro and scallions. We're excited about tonight, absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to serve? We are serving our, one of our, actually one of our most popular appetizers, actually a buffalo chicken taquito uh, with a special uh, chipotle aioli served over the top. Yeah, and it actually uh, I think the people are really going to enjoy it tonight. So. And is this your first taste? Or? My first taste here, and I'm excited they actually chose me to come do it tonight. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Tony Season's been here many times. It has. Uh, we're actually, uh, we've been open for five years now in Burlington, and, and things are going better than ever there, so we're super excited. I'm here at the very impressive table for the Tuscan uh, Kitchen. I'm here with Pete, who's a chef. Can you tell us a little bit about tonight's sample? So here we have our 24-month age Parmigiano-Reggiano wheel we get imported. And we are making some truffle risotto with our long grain carnaroli rice. So the Tuscan kitchen is Italian cuisine. Um, I understand you have multiple locations. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about where you're located in Burlington? So we're right in the district, great area, right near the mall, a lot of industrial buildings, a lot of people, great lunch atmosphere. Great, fine dining experience at night. We try to bring the best of both worlds, and we bring all our scratch-made products right from our commissary every single day to ensure we have the best and freshest products. I'm with Mike from Tennis Cow. That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> nice to see you. Can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be serving tonight? Sure, we're serving a uh, mini version of one of our vegetable tacos that we serve in the restaurant. So it's basically mushroom, zucchini, summer squash, corn, a little bit of green and red pepper, served in a mini taco shell, topped with a little bit of creme fresca cheese. And how is the vibe over there? Uh, the vibe over there is great. You know, we're, we're kind of an upscale Mexican concept. We also have Jack's Coal Fired Pizza. We're in the same building, so we have two concepts there. Lots to choose from, but the vibe is very upbeat and fun. Great food, great drinks. That's right. We've been in the business over 45 years. We're very well known to all the locals in Burlington, and we've tried to reach out to beyond Burlington. We're well known as well. And our Caesar salad is actually a very big staple and a part of our restaurant. So 45 years, that means people know you, they love you. Are you a chain or one of a kind? No, we're one of a kind restaurant. That's excellent. Yeah. Family business? Privately owned by one owner. He's amazing. He's well known in Burlington. Um, we've hosted the Taste of Burlington and he's a great guy and he cares about the restaurant so we try to do a great job for him and for everyone that wants to come in. That's excellent. Um, and for anybody out there listening, do you provide functions? Uh, catering? We do. We have a full um, function establishment. We do weddings, we do bar mitzvahs, birthdays, pretty much anything. A baby shower, anything you need, we would be able to accommodate that. Large or small. So Chef has um, tonight are his house-made cavatelli pasta, which he makes in-house every, every, every day, essentially. It's butternut squash. It's finished with a little bit of butternut squash sugo, some mushrooms, and then shaved Brussels sprouts. Very nice. And you have been to the Taste many times? 
Yeah, I want to say this is our 10th year, I think. It's been a long time. And how do you feel this year is a little different from previous years? Well, I was just talking to Sonia. I mean, you've got a great turnout, and the amount of restaurants that we have now, because Burlington's had such tremendous growth, is great. I mean, it drives lots of people out, which is good. Can you tell us about what you brought here tonight? Yeah, it's house-made tuna tartare. Uh, we're serving that with our house-made lavash, a little bit of sesame seeds. It's rolled in some curry oil, and uh, which gives it a nice little spice, and uh, it's topped with some microgreens. Yeah, you, you seem to be creating quite a line here with people yeah. lining up to try it out. Yeah. Um, Eddie V's new to the area. Can you tell us a little bit about kind of the live entertainment that you're offering there? Yeah, yeah. So uh, seven days a week, we have a live entertainment in our lounge area. We call it the V Lounge. Uh, that starts at 6 p.m. and it goes until 10. Uh, on the weekend, yeah, uh, forgive me, that's on the weekends, and then during the week it's 5.30 to 9.30. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are serving tonight? Yeah, so today we have crab cakes. They're miniature crab cakes with a habanero aioli and pineapple salsa. Oh, very nice. It looks delicious. And um, have you been to the Taste before? Uh, this is my first time at the Taste, but um, the restaurant has been at the Taste every year for the past three years since we've been open. Yep, and how's the vibe over there? It's good. Uh, during the week, we get a lot of business parties and stuff like that. Being in the district where all the businesses are on the weekend, it's really nice. Uh, people, Some people even from the city come out to Burlington because it's a little bit easier. Easier than going into Boston. Yeah, exactly. And what do you have for us tonight? Tonight, we have our pulled pork sliders which is feature on our menu, great for football games, all that good stuff to come to the, um, on Sundays and watch with us. And one of our brand new items, which is a spicy cauliflower with the chipotle sauce. How did you get involved with the Chamber? Um, chamber, we're with AM15 and also uh, Crown Plaza Intercontinental Hotels. We're really proud of ourselves on being community-based hotels. And so reaching out, Rick and the Chamber are just amazing. Anytime you know the community need, needs us, we're there. I'm with Amanda from La Cache's. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit what you have on display here? Uh, yes. Uh, so today we have a mini apple crumb tart, uh, as well as a mini lemon meringue tart and a mini pecan pie. It looks delicious. Now, where are you guys located? Uh, we are located at 326 Cambridge Street in Burlington. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you were telling me that you have catering as well there? Yes. Yep. So we do uh, full service catering. We have a full deli, Italian pastry, American pastry. We do cakes, wedding cakes. Um, yeah, we have Italian cookies. We, we kind of do it all. <laughs> wow. And this is not your first time here at the Taste, is it? It's not. No. This is, this is probably my, I would say, fourth or fifth time here. Yeah, yeah. We love it. It's, it's a great event. I'm here with Atria, returning uh, member of the Taste. And you are? James Zamudo. James, can you tell me a little bit about what you're serving tonight? So today we're serving a lime cilantro chili. Specialty of yours? Yes, it is. It's a specialty at our community. We try to make everything special for our residents. And can you tell me a little bit more about the community and the residents? So the community is uh, right on Mall Road, and um, it's a it's a um, it's a great community in a sense that we try to make all of our dishes based on what our residents want, and we try to. This is one of the the dishes that the residents really like. I'm with Paula from True North. Paula, can you tell us a little bit about what you have tonight? Um, tonight we brought, this is an apple crisp cup, and that's a new item at the shop. And then we have a pumpkin cake, which is a brown butter frosting, which is a favorite, so we bring that back every fall. And then here we have a um, salted caramel butter bar. Oh, that sounds really good. Um, this isn't your first time at the Taste. You've been here before. We've been coming for a few years now, yeah. It's a good, nice event for the community. And can you tell us where you're located? We're at 204 Cambridge Street. Yeah, it's become a pretty big hangout for the town. I'm really happy that a lot of people like to come in and meet their friends there. I'm with Adam from Black and Blue. Um, Adam, can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be serving tonight? Okay, so tonight we have uh, two soups we offered for uh, the fall, you know, getting cold outside, so keep everybody warm. So here we have our Maryland sheet crab soup with a little chive oil on top and uh, fresh uh, crab. And then we have our seasonal autumn squash and pumpkin bisque with five spice, creme fraiche, and a little bit of pomegranate on top. Very nice. And is this your first taste? Uh, this is actually our second. We did it last year. Yeah, it was the first time. Very nice. You had a good time. You came back. Yeah, very good time. We, we were glad they invited us back this year. We love Matador. Yes, I'm with Chris, the general manager of Matador. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
Um, can you tell me a little bit, or Chef Todd, a little bit about what you guys are serving today? This is a Spanish-inspired tomato bisque soup. It's uh, made with uh, roasted tomatoes, smoked garlic, and a bunch of different Spanish spices. Okay. Heavy cream. It's a pair of mascarpone spaghetti, topped with um, uh, Parmesan cheese, balsamic vinaigrette reduction. Excellent. We were here last year with our executive chef last year, um, and this is a great event. We love uh, kind of meeting our local uh, demographic. Um, being in a hotel, you know, we see a lot of our guests in the hotel, but it's always exciting when we get to see our local customers uh, come in from the surrounding communities. Looks like you have some delicious sushi to offer everyone. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, so what we're featuring is uh, what we call our sushi celebration family pack. Um, that's available every single day for all of our customers, um, but we're also featuring it in our uh, catering magazine. So if you guys are looking for something uh, simple and easy, um, we're the place to go. We have all those catering needs. Excellent. Simple and easy catering needs. Ultimately, we're, we're a company of values and, you know, we, we like to bring to the table not only a celebration of food, but also a celebration of people. Um, and, I mean, you look around here tonight and that's what you have. Um, and we have food and people, and it's a great celebration of our community of Burlington. Thank you.